Hi, we're glad you joined us. This is another picture you can hear. In the last picture that we could hear, we were talking about General Levine. He was a circus performer who didn't know when the music was over, right? I had you count how many times my hands left the piano, and I didn't even count because I was busy playing. So here's what I did do. I went and looked at the video after the show was over, and I counted seven times that my hands left the piano. So there were at least seven times in there that the music could have been over and wasn't. This is another picture you can hear, and it's about this little song, and I promise you, you have heard this before. It goes like this. Now everybody's heard that, I bet. Maybe you've never heard anybody play it on the piano, but I promise you, you've sung it on the playground, right? Na, 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 na. Or something like that. And let me tell you something else. You're not the first group of kids ever to sing this. Your parents sang it on the playground. Their parents sang it on the playground. Their parents sang it on the playground. If it wasn't pretty old, then this fellow who wrote the music about it would never have heard it. And he lived well over a hundred years ago in Russia. His name was Mussorgsky. And he wrote a whole series of pictures that you can hear for the piano. And this one is about children on a playground. Now, of course, we can't all be on playgrounds right now. We have to stick close to home and go out for little walks and things like that. But sooner or later, and probably sooner, we'll get back to being on playgrounds, and we'll be doing this again. Now, a whole piano piece about that probably wouldn't be very interesting, so Mussorgsky made it a little bit fancier. Let me show you what I mean. Pretty normal so far, right? But then instead of doing... He did this. It's a lot fancier, right? So here's the other thing it does. Sometimes it confuses the line between kids playing and kids arguing, maybe. So it's kind of hard to figure out whether is kids just playing or are they arguing about something? Let me play some of the music for you and you see what you think so far, okay? Here's something else we need in the music. You know how when you're running around outside and sooner or later you'll be outside again playing, running around, you know how sometimes you get really tired of doing that? If you do it too long and too hard, you get a little tired, you need to take a little rest. So Mussorgsky knew that, he was a kid once himself, so he knew that too. He put that in the picture. He put some resting music in the picture. This is what it sounds like, listen to it. going to be children playing, or maybe they're arguing, sometimes they're resting, sometimes they're going back to playing again. Hope you enjoy.
pretty short. Okay, that's our picture for the day. Now, on Monday, we're going to have a little bit different type of program for you. It's going to be more of a listening game. It won't be so much about what you see or trying to create a picture in your head. It'll be a lot more about listening. And the reason I'm doing it is because the guy who wrote the music was born over 300 years ago. And I just think it's pretty cool that we're still playing his music even today, all these years later. Here's what I want you to do. He was born in 1685 and right now it's 2020. So I want you to figure out how many years are between. And I want you to tell me how old he would be if he was still alive, okay? All right. That is it for this picture you can hear. We'll see you again on Monday. We sure do appreciate you watching.